Based on the content of the previous video some more functionality of the object editor is given. First of all, let's have an image of the circle translated in Z direction. This process automatically creates an image curve as well as a translation object in the tree. Now, the upper curve depends on the first circle and the transformation. Select the two curves and create a linear surface in between. The simple idea now is to make the radius dependent on the x position of a point. In order to connect them, select the initial circle and drag the point into the radius editor. The x coordinate of the point is then received by means of a function of the point. This makes the radius dependent on the point so that it can be changed interactively. Let's have a closer look to the function of this point. Click onto the type icon next to the name in order to display the documentation of this geometry type. The properties of this point type are listed along with documentation. They directly correspond to the elements in the graphical user interface. The functions can be called and return a specific type for example for connecting objects with each other. In our case, the getX function returns a simple float number which is also expected by the editor as radius input. Once again, the returned x coordinate is a float number of type f double which matches the editor type. The functions of a type are grouped by their return values. Let's finalize this video with some user documentation that can be added to created objects. The documentation can be quickly displayed via the icons in the tree or by means of the same icon within the object editor.